speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, the founder of the Italian organization Erexit, campaigning for Italy to abandon the euro, said a future Italian euro-skeptic government would inevitably be on the UK side in the Brexit negotiations. Ms. Bonato, a former Liga candidate, argued Italy would favor its close bilateral relationship with the undisputed superior power leading the Brussels bloc over the EU. She argued the EU's hard position in the Brexit negotiations so far will prove to be a mere bluff, when Brussels will be forced to grant the UK all its demands. The Italian lawyer said, I think the EU has always played a hard position as a bluff, because they know the UK's independence is far more superior than they would have liked people to believe. Get ELA 7 Brexit News your exit chief Francesca Donato claims Italy will be on our side post-Brexit. Our political weight in Europe is indisputable and undisputed despite the choices made, whether it stayed in the EU or not. The UK has a thousand reasons to have a superior persuasive power so notwithstanding US and Athemas, at the end of the negotiations, when it comes to draft the final terms there will be very little they will be able to impose on the UK from Brussels. Asked whether the EU will toughen up in the Brexit negotiations to avoid the domino effect in the bloc, Ms. Donato replied. The only way to avoid the Brexit domino effect is not to be tough on the UK, but to realise significant internal reforms and he did not quote the prominent Italian Eurosceptics comments come Italy's would-be government collapsed on Monday before it even formed following a shock veto from the country's president S.E.R.G.I.O.M.A.T.T.A.R.E.L.L.A. over a minister who held strongly Eurosceptic views. They know the UK's independence is far more superior than they would have liked people to believe Francesca Donato the leading political figures of the coalition parties. The Five Star Movement and Liga, HAVE blamed the UELIT in financial powers for the collapse. The Italian president shocked the international community after rejecting the coalition's finance MINISTER candidate. 81-year-old Eurosceptic economist Paolo Savona, over his threats to pull Italy out of the Eurozone. In an attempt to move Italy back closer to Brussels, President Mattarella summoned Carlo Cottarelli to his office. Emma Cottarelli, a former RIMF director, is now tasked with forming a pro technocrat government in Italy, despite the country's palpable anger against institutions like the infant European Central Bank and the deeply unpopular austerity measures imposed in 2011. In the coalition's move towards the Eurozone's first Eurosceptic government, President Mattarella said, Membership of the Euro is a fundamental choice. If we want to discuss it, then we should do so in a serious fashion. The uncertainty over our position has alarmed investors and savers both in Italy and abroad. The post-election coalition had spent days drawing up a pact aimed at ending a stalemate following an inconclusive March vote, and now claims President Mattarella has abused the power of his office. Matteo Salvini has threatened chaos and mass protests, unless snap elections are called as soon as September while Five Star Movement leader Luigi Di Meo called on Parliament to impeach President Mattarella. Dot.